All right, guys, so I got the car on the lift. Um, I'm sure a lot of people know this, but in case this is your first Lincoln Town car and you don't know, these Lincoln Town cars have air suspension. So um, before you start racking it, the, um, the switch for the air ride is right here. So you can just hit off and now you can go ahead and start jacking it up. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, I have all four of my spokes right here, as you can see. So look what happened to my knockoffs. So I didn't know that you're supposed to put some anti-seize. I got some anti-seize right here. You're supposed to put anti-seize right here on the threads, on the threads on your adapters and your knockoffs. Well, I didn't do that. So I put them on dry. So my knockoffs ended up getting stuck. So they got stuck onto my on stuck onto my car. So fortunately that I work in the shop, I have um access to air tools. So I had to get my knockoffs off with an air hammer. So if you guys are on the street and you guys don't have no uh no air tools, make sure if you guys put in your spokes on you have some anti seize on it. Or else, you know, you guys are going to go to the same problem that I did. So I got the car on the lift. This is the last look of it with the stocks on. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys, once I take these stocks off, I'm going to show you guys what it takes to, to put the spokes on. So let me show you real quick. You'll notice that we have two red adapters and two white adapters. The two white adapters are for the left side. The two red adapters are for the right side. So um, what you're gonna need, obviously this one's messed up, but I'm just gonna um, show it to you. This one I broke a stud on, so I'm not gonna use it. But um, this is an inch and a quarter inch spacer. So this is the spacer that you're gonna need when you go to mount these wheels. And I'm gonna show you why you're gonna need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put a spacer on it. I'm not the spacer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the adapter. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna put at least two lug nuts on it. And I'm gonna try to um, throw on the wheel. And I'm gonna show you guys why you're gonna need an adapter to put these wheels. And the reason is because the spray caliper is too big um, to run 14. Um, so that's why we're gonna need to space it out a little bit. But uh, I'm still gonna go ahead and, and just show you that it doesn't work. doesn't even go on like at all and if you look right here on the back side hopefully you guys can see I don't have my light but see that brake caliper how it's literally pushing back on the rim let's see that's why we're gonna need a spacer so so this video is for anybody who's new and has never run wire wheels before and they want to they have a town car 
and they want to go ahead and put them on so I'm, I'm trying to show you guys what I went through so that when you guys are going to be putting your spokes on you guys already have a general idea of what you guys need to do so um, you can learn from my mistakes so I'm going to go ahead and put the spacers on and then I'm going to go um, put my wheels back on and I'll show you guys All right guys, so I realized that I messed up. I ordered an inch and a half spacer and the, the spacers that I'm running on the front are an inch and a quarter. So an inch and a quarter is a space that you wanna run um, just to be able to get your wheels in. You don't need an inch and a half. Being that I got an inch and a half, I'm still gonna go ahead and put them on the back. Um, we'll go ahead and just see how they look. If it looks too goofy, then I'll go ahead and um, buy some of the right size spacers. Um, but I was just letting you guys know, an inch and a quarter is the size that you guys need in order to run your wheels. Me personally, I'm running an inch and a half in the back only because I ordered the wrong one. So we're gonna see how they look.
So I'm already back at my house and um, I just want to let you guys know because um, I loaded all my files into the computer and I realized that I didn't have the footage of me um, banging my rims on. But I want to let you guys know that after every couple of days or a week, make sure that you guys are, are hitting your knockoffs and making sure that everything is tight. Um, that's one thing that I didn't get to cover. So I'm making sure that I cover that now. Um, like I said, I put them on at work and once I got home, um, I hit him. I hit him again while I went to the car wash. As you can see, the car is clean. It looks good. I made sure once I put the rims on, I took my car to go get washed. But um, yeah, I just want you guys to know that um, after a week or two weeks, make sure you guys are are banging on your knockoffs and, and making sure that they're tight, cause. I don't want you guys' knockoffs coming loose on you. After maybe like a month of making sure that your, your knockoffs are tight after the first time you put them on, you probably don't have to check them again for another couple months, but it wouldn't hurt, you know what I mean? To, to make sure that they're, that, to check them every time you change your oil or something. But um, yeah, this is it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.